Hey, YouTube friends and family. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing good. I really do. I wanted to get on here and, uh, boy, guys, I don't know what's the matter with our world. I really don't. So many YouTubers, people in our community of the same human race as many others, bring very important information forward. In the years that I've listened to YouTube videos, I've seen many, many people warn of things that we could change if we would just get it together. I go to the news in my AOL every morning. Sometimes I step over to CBS and ABC and CNN and just to see what they have to say. Most of what they have to say is garbage. In fact, the majority of it. And yet people are just engrossed. They can't, they can't stand to ignore it. You know, the Victoria's Secret fashion show. Boy, you can bet that that got a bunch of hits. Mega Million Jackpot. Fourth largest in history. Oh boy, and if Kim Kardashian's in here, big hits. Woman recovering after getting super glued to Home Depot toilet. Someone's going to like that one. But you give them important, really important news. Things that are life or death. Things that matter. Things that are to change our world. See, Hollywood is garbage. Absolute garbage. None of it's real. It's all fake. It's a facade. It's a script. None of it is real. Now, Fukushima, Fukushima's real. Certainly is. The scandals. You remember the scandals, don't you guys? The IRS. Remember that one? Benghazi. Remember that one? You know all the scandals. Those are real. But you know, when Benghazi come forward and this is a scandal and somebody needs to do something, well, Kim Kardashian jumped up. Uh, Miley Cyrus jumped up. Anybody that's flashing their ass and, and hanging their boobs out of their clothing, people pay attention to that stuff. They certainly do. It's really pathetic, absolutely pathetic, the mentality of the human race. And I don't mean everybody, but based on what we're seeing, I would safely say the majority. You don't want to watch a video that lasts an hour, that puts truth in front of you. You don't want to watch a video that takes 30 minutes, if there's truth in it. But, oh my goodness, let's see. A uh, TV pick, Vic Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. I wonder how long that took. I wonder how long that show took. I'll bet it got a lot of views. Mail Online, convicted sex offender, sodomizes a four-month-old little girl, four-month-old baby girl, sodomized 
by the mother's boyfriend. He's choked her to death. Oh, God. People, if we don't get it together, if we do not start paying attention to the things that really matter, turn off the stinking TV. Stay away from the garbage. Put your lustful nature on hold and pay attention to the things that matter. We have to get it together. We have to start paying attention to the people here in our community on YouTube that are warning us and telling us You're going to lose everything. You're going to lose everything. For what? For what? Cyrus's ass bending over in front of you? I don't know, guys. The little four-month-old uh, suffered internal bleeding caused by the sodomy and uh, the creep that sodomized her. She wouldn't quit screaming. Four months old. Wouldn't quit screaming. So he choked her. Choked her. And I'm in the wrong world. I don't belong here. Do you? Our children are nearly lost. They're not taught morals anymore. They're not allowed to say the word God in public school. You need to get back to realizing that the world we live in is being destroyed because God's not allowed here. Some sick mind or minds have blocked him. He's not even allowed on YouTube. I'm sorry, guys, but that baby. We live in a very sick world, and it's up to us to change it. It really is. We need to start cleaning up our acts. Put the booze away. Put the pills and drugs away. Start focusing on what really matters. Mothers, how dare you? How dare you for your lustful nature bring some creep into your home that you don't really know and then leave your children in that person's care. How dare you? Are you that desperate to be with somebody that you would sacrifice your child's life? It's not worth it. It most certainly is not worth it. People, we got to wake up. We have to wake up. You better get used to the fact that 
There is a universal creator, whether you want to believe it or not. What we see is not real. Most of what we see is not real. Hollywood is fake. What they put in front of you on the television is fake. Your president is fake. Everybody knows it. All the proofs come forward. But everybody chooses not to look, not to stand up, not to voice an absolute anger over it. We don't put a stop to anything. We don't put a stop to anything. And it's time. I want my children to pray in school. And I want them to know who God is. I want God in school with them so some creep doesn't come in and start blowing children away. Don't you get it? Doesn't anybody get it? I wouldn't blame God for ending all this. I really wouldn't. You know, the children killing children, the bullies, the kids committing suicide. Where the hell are the parents? I don't know, guys. God bless us all. Even you that don't believe in him. There is a universal creator. Jesus Christ died for your sins and my sins. He certainly did. Do we have the whole story? Is it right? Is the Bible absolutely 100% accurate? No. But believe me, those two things you can take to the bank. And we need divine intervention right now. We need help. And I would highly suggest that everybody, even if you have to hide in your closet to do it, because most people are ashamed. They're ashamed to say, I believe in God. That can't be popular. You can't be politi politically correct and believe in God. Right? So hide in your closet, but drop to your knees. Repent and ask him to come and help us. Because with creeps like this and the stuff that they're doing to children and the homeless children and the children that parents are walking away from because of drugs, among all the other things, the corruption, the deceptions, the lies, the murders, the... <sighs> we need him. You need him. I need him. And there's people out here telling us, showing us. You don't want to believe. You don't want to believe anything that isn't in your normal. You don't want to believe that there's other life other life forms. You don't want to believe that. Well, that's pretty vain of you. You think you're so special that you, our universal God would only create humans? Look at the humans. Look at them. Boy, ain't that something to be proud of. I gotta go, guys, but I just had to say this. God bless each and every one of you. You're in my prayers. I love all of you. I love you very much. But we got to get it together. Get your heads out of your rears. Get off the TV. Start working at making something better. Because if we don't, we're going to lose it all. Stupidity. <laughs>